Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on One in the Chamber. So this is a really great mini game which you can play and download for free off of Spigot. So if you don't know what One in the Chamber is, it is a very fun mini game where you get a sword, a bow, and one arrow. If you kill someone, you get plus one arrow. If you lose your arrow, uh, you will have to take to the sword and attempt to kill someone. So um, if I kill my opponent there, you can see in chat it says you have killed uh, my other account. There's a nice scoreboard on the right. And uh, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, the minigame. So if you want the chamber leave, we can leave the arena. So we're going to create an arena now by doing forward slash one in the chamber create and obviously name it something. Once you've done that, we can do one in the chamber set lobby. For the arena YT. We can also do one in the chamber set main lobby up here as well, we might as well. And we're going to fly down into our arena and do one in the chamber add spawn and the arena name, then just duplicate this command for how many spawns you want in your arena. Like that. You can also check the commands by doing obviously one in the chamber. And this uh, plugin has quite a cool feature. There is actually coins that you can get by winning, and you can use your coins to actually level up uh, like that. So a GUI will pop up, and click here to rank up 15,000 coins. We don't have that much, but uh, if we did, we would rank up, and I believe there's a particle effect. So um, that is how to create an arena. You can also make a sign, like the one here. Um, so it's pretty straightforward, one in the chamber on the top line and the arena on the second line. Click done and that will create your um, arena sign and then people can right click it, they'll be teleported to the lobby and uh, there we go, Bob's your uncle. So now we're going to go into the config file quickly and have a look at the things that we can edit in there. So we're in the one in the chamber folder and as you can see there are five files and three folders but there are only two things you really need to edit in here. So there's the messages folder, uh, you can edit the colors and the uh, prefix and you can even change the sign which is kind of cool. Um, so I was messing around with that earlier. Uh, you don't have to change that but if you want to change the colors to match the server or something like that you could indeed which is nice. The other thing is the config file which has quite a few things that you can change. So you can edit the countdown and the end time for each arena, the max players, the amount of players it requires to start the arena, and obviously the kills to win. So up here you can change the coins to win. So if you remembered in the game we had to have, um, I believe it was 15,000 coins to actually rank up which is absolutely ridiculous. So I changed that to 50, you can set a, an economy reward which would be 15 and whether um, block full damage is on. So um, there's some nice things that you can edit in here, uh, it's a really cool plugin, you can download it for free off of Spigot as I mentioned. Um, and the dev has made some other plugins as well, so I'll be covering those too. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next video.